Let's do that again, and let's do it again, and again, and again, and again. Dude. Yes and dub. Got beautiful beauty. You know, bang, 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 bang. What do you got I'm there? I'm kind of an ice guy, what can I say? Ice guy in the morning and it's cold? He likes Damn. so he likes a nice nice hot cup of oh, wacky. Wow. We just rolled into the holiday gas station here and we have choices, you know what I mean? We could do Rainforest House, Espresso Dark, 100% Colombian, um, or decaf, which nobody said ever. So, fill it up. Cream and sugar? Cream and sugar, sugar. <laughs> All right, we're rocking and rolling. We got some Joe, some bananas, some nanners, a little taquit. We're at the G station, and where are we headed? What are we doing? We're headed to the other side of the lake that we were on yesterday with the great Bill Linder again. And uh, this time we got some my fish pros. <laughs> Hopefully the bite lasts a little bit longer, or there's just a bite at all. I guess we're just trying a different spot on the map, yeah, but we might not even catch them. Who knows? But we cut up three walleyes last night, and we're hoping to do a little more damage this morning. Absolutely. So. All right, let's get a little banana and Joe and get on the road. Here we go. Dropping down the, the set lines this morning. This one's a little deeper. We're like mid 20s here. We're still doing good. The sun hasn't perched up. No, we're close to the witching hour. We got some rainbows on the others, and this is a giant shiner on this one. If this one gets eaten, oh, look out. All right, here we go. We've got our spread. Oh, I'm fired up. We made it in time. We're sitting down, we're jigging. All the iFish Pro's out. All before first light, really. That fires me up. You said you just have like one strand of weeds down there, Bill? I, I did it in, in camera last time. I had this like one top coming up. Okay. Starting out with Old Faithful. White and silver rattling blade spoon. Glows green. And this is gin clear water. I like this spoon because it doesn't glow crazy. It's not like it's blowing things up it's more subtle and I really like that for clear water oh mark right away nice mark come on oh that's a nice mark come on come on come on this is a nice mark come on yeah I do come on There we go, fish on. Right. That was sweet. Wow, you must have saw that right when I clocked her down there.
That was sweet. There we go, walleye topside, baby. <laughs> Rattling blade spoon just. Wow, I don't know if he was really close to the hole right when I dropped down, but he was down there. Beautiful eater. Beautiful eater. All right. Was he was he just sitting on it, rising, rising? How far off the bottom did you get him? I got him. I got him probably two feet off the bottom, but right away he he was kind of. He looked at it, went away. Looked at it, went away, and then he came back, and I slowly rose him just up and up and up, and then he did it. 16 inches. I think it is. I think it's a beautiful 16 incher. Oh, no way! Right when I dropped down, I was like, I mean, is that a perch coming in? And it's. I feel like you kind of saw it on the fall. And I'm like, that's a pretty nice mark on the vex. Fish on. Could be just a smaller one. Fish on. That beautiful little perch. Got me going though. <laughs> it's kind of a nice mark you shot up and I was like, ooh. Show you Billy's set up here. He's digging to the right on his bird and to the left. He's got his camera down there. So good. Billy's in like 20 feet here. There's some weeds right here. Then our eye fish pros, and as we push out, it kind of drops down to that 23. What do you think, brother? It's a beautiful morning. It is. We got one on the ice and now we got four total for a nice little yeah. short lunch. Get on back to your hole. Point. That sun hasn't even perked the tree line yet. You get oh, back okay. there. All right, You're just watching flags. <laughs> Why don't you watch your own bob rock, eh? Come on. Get kicking. Get kicking. Come on. Drop it. Ooh. Gosh. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Good half, an, half an inch longer. I, <laughs> I know. If, if I'm on winter, gosh, I'm keeping 50 low. <laughs> Oh, nice mark, nice mark. This is a wall, I think. All right, all right, I think it is. Walter. I think it is. Tooley. Walter or Thule? It is a Thule. Get up here, you giant shiner. <laughs> a shiner, ain't my shiner. Oh, wow. Billy loves to put these on the Traeger and smoke them, but I think we're going to release them today. Look at that giant shiner. Beautiful tool. We should just hook him and throw him on the iFish Pro for a pike later. <laughs> See you, buddy. Oh, I was fired up. I thought that was an eyeball. Oh, maybe a toolie? Maybe a toolie? Two pack came in. Maybe a toolie? There's two of them down there. <laughs> a real skipjack indeed. <laughs> they are pretty sweet looking fish. Just a gnarly fish. See you, buddy. So weird. So weird. We cannot buy a bite on a flag, which is so odd to me. We've got a couple shiners and a rainbow down. And flags are extremely effective for walleye fishing, especially early ice. You know, they're nice and quiet. You got a big hunk of meat just swimming down there. And usually, if I was a betting man, if I was a betting man, I really thought we were gonna get a couple iFish Pros to pop off this morning and, and potentially maybe not even catch one jigging, but it's weird. We're pivoting. We're going plan B. Up the road to Jenkins to a, a local establishment that I call the Apine. Delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So let's see what Sam thinks about it. Plan B. All right, plan B, here we go. Family and friends gathered here. 
Hey, bye. A lot of good options here. Some steak and eggs, the combo. Look at the belt buster. Two country fresh eggs, two pieces of French toast, bacon, sausage. I'm gonna get the belt. I think I need to bust my belt. Yeah. Are you gonna get the belt buster? <clears throat> I think so. Smoked brisket skillet, two country fresh eggs alongside hash browns. Country scrambler, you can never go wrong if you like. Come on. Come on. And the belt buster. Come on. Side of hash browns. So good. Look at that ham steak. Oh, we're gonna house this. <laughs> Good eats, super good eats. That, that was phenomenal breakfast. Hayes had the belt buster. I had the country scrambler and we're feeling it right now. We're gonna probably catch our breath, get some water and then we're headed. We're headed to do something, something totally different. You know, if I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, I'd give it an eight and a half. I mean, it kind of hit the spot. That was good. 8.5 yeah. is good. And yeah, I think we might go check if a little lake has some ice and if it does. Crops? Potentially some pies, some pies, some crop pies, crop pies, and we're on. We're kind of on a, a knock the rust off slash harvest mission tonight. We're just trying to put a crappie or twenty topside, yeah, and enjoy the time, enjoy the forty five degree day. Beautiful. It's like like late ice out here, but early ice. Cool. All right, we're gonna run a few errands and then hopefully to the lake. <whistles> It obviously doesn't always happen like this, but Hayes is over there. I'm over here. First hole we drilled. That looks like there is a pile of crappies in a line like 60, 70 feet away. I don't have a rod out. I don't have anything out yet, but it looks promising right around in there. I know the sun's a little bad, but those look like some pies. Potentially pies. All right, let's let's grab a rod and the sexy dexy. Let's let's see if they're crops. All right, I got two things rigged up: white pinhead, little pink wonder bread patika flash. We'll just start with the bread and butter. See if these are even crappies. See if they'll even react. Here we go, fish on. That one freaking ate it. That one ate it. God, they're being kind of finicky. If they're not flighty, they're they're definitely a little finicky. There we go, that's a beautiful eater. We'll take him home to the fry pan. Get back down there. I think they like the pinhead, I just think maybe they want a different color. And or maybe they want white. I don't know. Maybe they want white. They're starting to chill out now. And do some eating. This one feels not bad. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Good eats. This one's not too big, but it'd be a beautiful eater. We'll keep the little bit smaller end ones and we'll let the bigger ones go. Those are both beautiful eaters. 45 degrees out. No snow or slush on the lake. Feels like late ice. That one was hot and bothered. Here we go. Some of them will come up and have like a kind of a negative attitude and then one will fly up out of the school super hot. There we go, that's a nice eater. Sweet. <laughs> Not bomb crappies by any means, but delicious eaters. And the school is not moving. I think they finally settled down. They kind of went underneath one of my holes I already had drilled. 
and I just think they like that. They just, they know when you drill on top of them. They really do, they know. That's why once you got kind of a variety of holes drilled, whether you have forward facing sonar or not, they just kind of, you know, if you've located a school, they swim around in a circle and you can kind of just keep checking holes with your vex and let them settle down a little bit. There's one, come on. There we go, got him that time. I think this is that same fish. He was just angry. <laughs> Feels good to catch crappies again. Oh man, that's a nice eater. Beautiful. For a minute there, I, th I thought they wanted a little bit different colored pinhead and I think I just needed them to chill out a little bit. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Sweet. All right, we got four out of this hole. Come on, get back down there, get back down there. I wanna say this is the, the smallest pinhead they make. This is the, the 132nd. The 116th is probably my favorite. But the 132nd is just kind of a total crusher. Bluegills, crappies, everything underneath the sun eats it. And if they're not super aggressive fish, I feel like that smaller one, oh. Come up and eat it. That look like a better school, come on. Oh, get mad and just charge up and smoke it. He wants to do it. They kind of like it moving. They don't want it sat still at all. If you stop moving that bait, I feel like they kind of lose interest. But if you keep that bait flicking down there pretty hard. Nice eater. Nice eater, sweet. All right, we've got five here now. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, that feels nicer right there. Ooh. Ooh, what do we got, Billy? Oh, yeah, Billy. That's one for the pan, huh? Are you getting them on a rat tail? Pinhead. Pinhead with no bait? Toby. Eat her, buddy. Oh, here we go. Feels like a shorty, maybe. Yeah, shorty. Inhaled it, though, look. Yeah. All the way down. There we go. No, oh, not bad. Not bad, Bill. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, slack line me. Probably cut her, huh? Here we go, here comes one. Looks like he might crush it. Got him. All of a sudden they're starting to eat this. Ooh, not bad. Heavy. Mm-hmm. Thick across the back. Pretty good eaters, huh? Real reluctant to hit. Sam's pounding them over there. There's that big pot out there, and then obviously another pot here. Oh. There we go. That one did it. Beautiful. All right, all right, we gotta go. We really gotta go. This will be the last one we catch. Beautiful crop, beautiful crop. This buddy gets the pass. I have plenty. I think I got like six or seven or something like that. I got plenty for me. This buddy gets the pass. Thank you for playing, buddy. It's too fun, dude. It's too fun. That was freaking awesome. That was fun knocking the rust off. So I think we're gonna transition now to hopefully, you know, a quick flash bite. Maybe we poke a walleye or two to kind of round out some beautiful crappie meat. Good buddy Billy's back there. He's rolling around. He's coming with too, so. 
taking his convoy over to the walleye lake and we'll see what happens. So come along. I got one. I was going to stay here and, and try to shoot some underwaters, but we just want to be as stealthy as possible. So we're going to move a couple hundred yards away. And... Kind of divide and conquer. He's kind of out on a nipple at the end of a point, and we're yeah. going to go out to just kind of a long sweeping point. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Billy? I, I'm going to get, get him on the edge of this hump right here, and it's like 18 feet of water. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. I like that. All right, Billy. I like that. Good luck. I'm going to put you on here. All right. Let's get him. See you in about an hour and a half. Divide and conquer, that's the plan tonight, little divide and conquer. We don't have dialed in spots by any means, we're just playing around. We got a guy over there, a guy here. We're gonna see what happens. <laughs> we're literally just talking. He's taking, I'm gonna do it to him. He's taking? Doing it to him. What do you think, Sam? I'm doing it to him. Fish on. Fish on, Sam? Feels like a walleye. Walter? Or jumbo glurch. Could be a jumbo. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> right here is not a walleye. It's not a jumbo perch. It's a beautiful northern pike. <laughs> that was a snake farm. Just sounds nasty. Snake farm. Pretty much is snake farm. It's a reptile house. Snake farm. Ooh. A woman named Ramona, she got a tattoo on her arm of a python eating a little mouse with a hat wearing snake farm. Snake farm. Snake farm. Oh boy, walleye, frickin' nailed it. Oh, nice walleye, oh yeah. Oh, Sam, look at that frickin', hey, look at that thing. You think it wanted it? Oh, that boy eggs, Sam. Dude. Oh, I gotta get the players for that one. Or just walleye. Tacos. That boy. Yes! Yes! Brand new spot. Yes! It's just so weird. It, like if we got, if we like complete, oh, that's a walleye mark. Come on, walleye mark. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, eat it off the bottom. There we go. Oh, gave it a little tap on the bottom and he freaking did it. Yes. Nice work, Sam. What do you got, brother? Come on. Oh, damn. I like a real nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Perfect brother. eater. Beautiful. Thank you. Of course, brother. Dude, he totally lost interest. And then I just tapped it on the bottom, and then he go down to it, and then I just did that slow raise. And whack. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful eater. We got one right away, and we're like, there's got to be more than one. Oh. Beautiful little eater. Sweet. Oh, walleye mark. Walleye mark. There we go. He's hot. Bingo. 
Bingo. Oh, nope. <laughs> we got a new species, folks. What do we got? Hazel, I'll give you a guess. A crappie. <laughs> nope. Uh, largemouth. Nope. Come on, dude. Guess again. Rocky or Coco? <laughs> we got a Rocco, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful rock bass. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot, freaking Rocco! Do you, got, do you got a lot, a lot of under mill? Uh oh, uh oh. That's you, Sam. Could it be another Rocco? What? Could it be another Rocco? Oh, there it goes. No, no. Could it be another Rocco? Just chowing on that. That big fat head. What should I do? Should I do it to him? I don't know. Is it moving or not? I don't know. What do we do? I don't know. You gotta feel if he's there. Fish on. Rocco? I'm calling walleye. You're calling walleye? Nice walleye. Oh, nice walleye. Oh, oh brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. How about a 17 inch? <laughs> we just capitalized on a beautiful rock bass, but one minute ago, and then this iFish Pro, which I'm like <laughs> all of four feet away from. <laughs> oh. Never give up. Hayes and I, we were close. We were we were like <laughs> kind of losing hope right before the sun set. Hayes popped one. Haven't seen a mark since. Nothing but perch. And now bang, bang, Big. bang, bang. Beautiful. <laughs> Beauty, beauty. Hayes and I are gonna get packed up and go find Billy over there. It sounds like Billy, we caught two. One. And Billy caught one and then he's seen another one on the camera. We ended up with three, a small pike and a Rocco, which is awesome, you know, trying a brand new spot. Uh, Hayes found this giant sweeping point. We're fishing a lake that has a ton of structure. So there's a lot of good places on the map that look good. And I feel like it's just a matter of, you know, trying them and that's what we're doing we're just trying random spots here or there and it was sweet to have some success so i'll show you the setup really quick i'm really falling in love with this rod 28 inch medium light tatsumi great light walleye rod especially for kind of your smaller spoons the big player tonight rattling blade spoon all white silver on one side glows green and this is a freaking money rod right here this would be a great rod for inside the shack too because it's only 28 inches long on the ifish pros I'm running a couple different models on one, the Katana, uh, on the other, the Scepter. I think I really like the Scepter. It almost loads a little slower, just overall more parabolic rod. Great kind of dead stick rod. And that's a 32 inch medium light. And yeah, it's been great. Get in here, buddy. We've got crappies to clean. We've got beautiful eater walleyes to clean. And we're gonna have plenty of tacos. We brought a pile of shore lunch, <laughs> plenty of oil. And, and the trip has really the, just begun. The journey's just begun, absolutely. If you can get on early ice, I mean, the, the biggest thing is, you know, find points that are tapering, you know what I mean? Yeah. Where they're flat, where you can, in this instance, we were able to find a pocket where there wasn't any weeds, Yeah. but there's a lot of room for these fish to, to you know, move up and down. Um, you know, I'd assume by midnight or late into the night, they, they're pr probably pretty shallow, but we're yeah. sort of intercepting them here. So find large, you know, tapering points is the biggest thing. I mean, if we got on the right one, you know, I know we could really, but we're kind of stuck. We can't walk out in the middle of this lake because we don't know what the ice is like. Yeah. But. And this is a deep, clear, natural lake. And I'm learning a ton hanging around Hayes and Billy. They're doing a lot of different map work and talking to each other. Should we go here? Should you set up there? Maybe come out here. And it's just, you can really make an educated guess before you go out. And that's what I'm kind of learning with Hayes and Billy is that, you know, they're taking a look at the map and really studying it and going, okay, this is high percentage, this is high percentage. We'll go there, drill on top of it. He uses forward facing sonar or a Vexlar just to, to kind of determine where the weeds are. And we set up on that flat part of the point like you're talking and we got deep water behind us and just two plus two equals four. The fish are probably chilling out there. And then, you know, as that flash fight witching hour happens, they're Absolutely. sliding up and we're just trying to intercept. So yeah. I can't thank you enough, dude. We're just getting started. Go follow my buddy Hayes. If you're up by Vermilion at all, he's a fishing guide all summer long up there. I'll link everything down below. Give him a call, shoot him a message on Instagram if you want to get in the boat with him. But for now, we're shooting a bunch of ice fishing stuff and 
yes, for sir. having a good one. So Absolutely. I guess there's nothing left to be said and stay tuned. And as always, let the adventure begin. See you.